Welcome back to 1001 Beers. You must try before you die. I'm very excited about tonight's beer as um, it's uh, from a brewery I've never had before. I've never had this beer before. Uh, I hadn't even heard them before doing this um, this this challenge. So this is a, this is going to be an interesting one. It's from the USA and it's a, a craft lager. It is Victory Prima Pills. I've got literally no idea what this is going to be like. I know nothing about Victory Brewing Company whatsoever. Uh, so this is going to be a really interesting one to do. So let's talk, talk about the look of it first, because give it a go there. So Victory, for your taste, V for your taste. Uh, it's got a nice picture of a hop there, Prima Pills. The, the branding's really, really nice. It looks really clean, um, not too... It's, it's stylized, but it's not over the top. Um, so, and there's a bit on the back and different um, bit about the ingredients. It doesn't say and say what hops it's got. So let's have a look at the, the book. So uh, from the United States, it is from, where is it from the USA? Victory Brewing Company, Downington, Pennsylvania. There we go. Right, uh, first brew 997, it is 5.3%, which is interesting for a lager. Um, now, the only time I think I can compare this with, I'm not going to compare it to like Budweiser or anything like that. I think um, I'm going to imagine it's got, if it's got a picture of hops in it, it's going to be pretty hoppy. So I'm going to compare this to, I do a like that comparison with Shehalian, which we reviewed before from Scotland from Harveston, because that's the nicest lager I've had so far. Um, so let's have a look what it says. Um, it's supposed to be a crisp, hoppy pilsner. Is there anything about hops that's in it? Oh, here we go, yeah. Uh, whole flower Halatau, Tetnanja, tet and SARS. I know, I know, I've heard of SARS, never heard of the other two before. Um, interesting, okay, right. So, um, talk about the tasting notes. Uh, Prima Pills is a clear and golden beer with a sweet, grassy, floral hop aroma. Its big bitterness is balanced perfectly with a blend of smooth, biscuity German malts. Hints of its alcohol are evident, whereas it finishes dry and amply thirst quenching. Well, this sounds great. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, oh, lots of carbonation coming up there in the head. Uh, the, neck of the, the neck of the bottle there, right. Something that's been really good, I've talked to you about doing this, these beer reviews so far, is having to drink certain beer styles I wouldn't normally drink in at the moment. So, so lagers, wouldn't normally drink them, and dark beers, wouldn't normally drink them. And I've really, really enjoyed a lot of the ones we've done so far. So lagers are an interesting one. I really enjoyed the Shahalian. Right, so looking at it, so it's, got, it's not entirely see-through. Um, it's not bottle condition, because there wasn't anything in the bottom there. Uh, so I guess it's just how it's supposed to be. It does look like the picture as well. Um, there's a little bit of heads, uh, but it's quite fizzy. So let's go for the smell. Oh, that's got a lovely hop aroma to it. Like really quite sweet and quite caramelly aroma. Um, it says sweet, ah, oh, sweet, grassy, floral. Yeah, it is It is actually both those things. I, when they say grassy, I often don't agree with them, but that one really does taste green. Um, Mm, looking forward to this. Let's go for the uh, the, the drink. Cheers. Mm. Oh, this is a challenger for Shahalian. That's really good. You wouldn't know it was a lager. Same like uh, the Shahalian. Uh, I know I'm going to keep referring to it, but it's a great comparator. Um, that is gorgeous. You do get big bitterness, but it's really nicely balanced with the hops um, and, the, and the sort of the malts you get in there. Um, that is a beautiful beer. Um, top marks for Victory Brewing Company there for Prima Pearls. That is really good. Um, um, go for another, all right, let's go for... Yeah, you get a really nice aftertaste, that kind of um, hop sweetness and that kind of the business rounds out on the tongue. Um, 
I'm a big fan. I'm really glad I've done this one. Um, this is what makes this challenge really worthwhile. I get to try something that I've got literally no idea about. Uh, and this one I could just got, I think I bought this one from just an online beer company in the UK. So pretty easy to get hold of if you're in the UK. Um, and I imagine if the US it's also pretty uh, easy to get hold of. I don't know about other countries. Uh, well, it does say on the back it's imported into Germany and Sweden, so I imagine it's also easy to get hold of, and Italy. So I imagine it's easy to get hold of everywhere, really. Um, this company must uh, push out uh, quite a lot across the world. Um, this is like the perfect antidote to Budweiser. Uh, it just shows you can do like a nice Pilsner, a nice lager um, that doesn't taste of boring lager um, or like mass produced lager. Although I imagine this is quite mass, mass produced now. Um, so nice. Right. I'm gonna go, oh, the litmus test, of course. <laughs> this is a bit of a stupid one. Right. Would I have this? I would love to have an entire pint of this. Easily. It would be great on... Um, wouldn't work on cask. It's not... Um, well, it might work on cask. Shahalian works on cask. But I would definitely... If this was on keg or cask, uh, this knocks... Um, this knocks a lot of beers into a cocked hat, actually. Um, it's a flipping lovely beer. Uh, right, I'm going to go away and, and not gush anymore. I'm going to go away and enjoy it. Um, without having to uh, waffle on at you uh, about how much I like this beer. But go and try it. Definitely. Now, there's another one. I've got another Victory. There's a few more Victory beers in here. Uh, I've got one in my stash, um, which I'll, I'll definitely be looking forward to trying now. Um, and there's another one which I haven't got hold of yet. So... Uh, watch this space and more Victory Brewing Company beers. And um, tell me if you've had this beer. Uh, tell me what you think of it, if you agree with me. And uh, um, like the video if you like it. Comment and subscribe. And I'll see you for another beer review soon. Bye.